Hey everyone, it's Alex with Web Hosting Canada. Today, we're going to take a quick look at how to restore a website, an email address, or an entire cPanel account using Jet Backup. So I'm right here in my Web Hosting Canada client area, and I'm just going to click on Go to cPanel. And there's actually two ways that you can access Jet Backup. You can either scroll down to the Jet Backup section here and use these buttons, or at the top, under Files, you can click on Jet Backup. And that will give you all the same options that you had down below. So um, I think we'll start with an email backup and we'll work over to the full backups. So I've just clicked on email backup, and as you can see, we've got a couple of test emails set up in here. So I'm just going to uh, choose the one that I created recently, and I'm going to click on restore. And you want to make sure that it's both the right email and the right time. Um, if this email had been around for longer, then there might be more restore points to choose from. And I'm going to say, yes, I'm sure I want to restore this account, and then add it to the restore queue. And now if I click on go back and I click on queue, I can actually watch uh, the restore process take place. And it shouldn't take very long because there's nothing in that email account, and it's just a new email address I created for the purposes of this tutorial. All right, so that took maybe a minute, and I am just skipped ahead through that, and I'm going to click on Go Back, and now I'll demonstrate how to perform a database backup. Now, if you wanted to restore a WordPress website, then you would need to do a database backup and a file backup from the same time. So I'm just going to look for the most recent one by clicking on creation date and put it so that it's most recent at the top. And so, and then I'm just going to click on restore over here. And it asks me again if I'm sure I want to restore this account. I'll add it to the restore queue. And again, if we just go back and click on Q, we can actually watch it restore. All right, so that took maybe a minute and a half, maybe two minutes. It was just a very small database. If you had a large website with a large database, it would certainly take longer. And now we'll look at how to restore the file system. So this is the other half of a website restore. And uh, again, you just want to look for the correct date and then click on File Manager. And this is where you actually choose which files you want to restore. And since I just want to restore one website and that website lives in the public underscore HTML folder, I'm going to check that folder. And then I'm going to say Restore Selected. And again, it asks me if I'm sure. And I add it to the queue. And then we'll go back. And just watch it restore itself. And this might take a little bit longer, especially with larger websites, because file systems tend to be larger than databases. All right, so that was actually quite fast. It was probably only about 30, uh, 30 45 seconds. And so we'll just click on Go Back. And then the last one we're going to demonstrate today is a full backup. Now, this is really a last resort type of option, because it's going to restore the entire cPanel account to a previous, uh, a previous state, and that means that you'll lose anything that's happened in between when the restore point was created and uh, when you execute the restore. But for the purposes of this demonstration, we'll assume that we need to do this. So you would just click on Restore over here next to the date that you want. And again, it asks, are you sure that you want to restore this account? We'll say yes and then add to restore queue. And now if we go back, we can see that this is pending 
And this one will take a bit longer because it is a full cPanel account, but, um, and it would certainly take a long, uh, much longer time if it was a large account with multiple websites. Uh, so just be prepared for that. And uh, let us know in the comments if you have any questions. We're happy to help you out with anything related to uh, cPanel and your Web Hosting Canada account. And please do subscribe to the channel, leave us a like, and we will be back soon with more content for you.